say, we cheated, we were wrong, we apologize for it. That, then I can believe it. Then I feel like you got, you got a pound of flesh. They never really admitted it. And then they have the audacity to sit there and painstakingly tell us that it may not have helped. Now you're really embarrassing yourself. Here's where he really embarrassed himself, what, what, uh, what we're talking about. Uh, he was asked what his response to the Yankees would be. Listen, the, the Yankees have had a few comments out there. Um, you know, our opinion is, uh, you know, that this didn't impact the game. Um, we had a good team. Um, we won the World Series, and we'll leave it at that. Well, what an insult. It didn't impact the game, and then he went on with this. I, I didn't say it didn't impact the game. Basically, <laughs> you said it, you know, as said the commissioner it. said what you in, in his report, he's not going to go backwards. Oh, my God. Um, it's hard to, to determine how it impacted the game, if it impacted the game, and that's where we're going to leave it. Now, remember, if you've listened to the show for a long time, how long have we been on the air? 1947. It, 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 it's, um, it's like the guy that I said about Namath's knee injury. Well, hey, uh, hey, listen uh, to this. This well, is, hey, this well, is Marley, well, hey. Marley Rivera pressing Jim Crane on it didn't help. I, I didn't say it didn't impact the game. Basically, no, that's all right. This know, is the Marley one. Here we go. Jim, sign stealing is a distinct advantage for the hitter. So how is it that it doesn't affect competition? So then what are you guys apologizing for? Um, we're p apologizing uh, 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 because uh, uh, we broke uh, the rules. But isn't sign stealing a distinct advantage for the hitter, so doesn't it automatically impact competition? It, it, it could possibly do that. It could possibly not. See, well, hey. Well, see, that's why well, hey. everything is empty because you're leaving that slither of a, of a hope or a possibility that it didn't matter. That they would have won anyway. We really didn't do anything wrong because it didn't impact. It may not have impacted. And all this would be a moot point. If they had vacated the title. And don't tell me, it's never done before. You can't rewrite history. They took two NCAA appearances away from John Calipari. They took over 100 wins away from Jim Beheim. They took the Heisman Trophy away from Reggie Bush. It's been but, done. But, but it's a not a new thing. But wait Take a the title away. Wait. They cheated. They admitted they cheated. The people that hate the rule changes that have been suggested by Major League Baseball all seem to take the tact. Baseball's above it. Like, baseball doesn't have to play the reindeer games all the other sports have to play. So why do they worry about what has or hasn't happened in other sports? You, you dictate what you should do. So it's the first time you did it, but you know what? It's deserved. Now, Larry Brooks, who's a Hall of Fame hockey writer, but a very underrated baseball writer. Yeah, he loves baseball. He loves baseball, and he, and he, and he fills in, and he covers. Um, sometimes he's down at spring training, and he's a really big baseball fan. <laughs> How about this tweet? Tell me if, tell me if he's not spot on. I don't believe there has been a more repugnant culture in sports than the one in Houston with the Astros. Harassing females, lying, rampant, full-scale cheating, absence of accountability from ownership. It's a cesspool. He's right. <laughs> he's, not, he's not even close to wrong. And, and I have said this over and over on this show because I'm lucky enough that when the Yankees play the Astros, I'm there, either at the stadium or in Houston. It's just a different feel in that place, and that's why every other team hates the Astros. And the lack of accountability and their maneuverability in the media, their whole PR department has to be redone. This is what they Does came it? up with today? This is what they came up with I, today. I think PR did exactly what Crane wanted them to do. But that's why Crane's a big part of the problem. All right. I mean, so... I think, yeah, they probably regret it now because of how, the, you know, the backlash. But I think they did everything that they wanted to do today because they think they're so big. Like, what are you even talking about this for? Let's move on. And, and I, I wonder in a quiet moment if Rob Manfred says to himself, you know what? I should have taken the title away. And please, yes. before anybody gives the Yankee boy nonsense, because Don's certainly not that. No. Here's the deal, babes. I, under no circumstance, think the Yankees should be given the American League title or the Dodgers should be given the world title. No. Vacate the title. Nobody won. And, and it, it's something that he could do. He doesn't need approval from the Players Association. And because he couldn't touch the players, it would be the perfect thing to do. Yeah. And I really, honestly, Michael, the only negative is the embarrassment that you probably would have to do it to the Red Sox in 2018, and it'll look like a stain on Major League Baseball that you had to vacate back-to-back -back titles. But the stain's already there, Michael. Now, it's already there. A guy who definitely is not going to be looked at the same because he's so hypocritical is Justin Verlander, you know, the paragon of virtue. You know, he's against PEDs, he's against domestic violence, and, you know, kept his mouth shut. 
uh, through all this. Uh, what did you think um, when you came to Houston and you saw what was going on? Uh, you know, I don't want to get into too many specifics. Um, you know, I think we're here today to, to, to apologize and for the team. Um, and, uh, you know, I think those needs were expressed um, by, by everybody. Uh, Mr. Chatty got very quiet all of a sudden. Um, he was asked, is what Houston did outside the norm? Um, you know, I can't speak for, for anyone else or any other organizations. The only thing I can do is sit here and speak for the Astros and uh, my teammates and myself. And, um, you know, we, we crossed a boundary. I think, you know, we broke the rules and we're sorry. It's funny. He can't speak for other teams. That's all he ever does. He, he rips other teams about PDs and things like that, rips other players. Today, he can't speak for other teams. If you, and I said this at the beginning of the show. So I'm going to give the Astros a little bit of a break. There is nothing that they could have done today that would have been enough. But they could have come close. They could have come. That's the they point. They could have tried harder. I think everybody wants a real bloodletting. That's not going to happen. So there's, uh, sorry doesn't fix the lamp, the whole deal. But they didn't. Uh, Crane is the one who messed things up. They saved themselves with their clubhouse access where they answered more questions, and they said, we didn't use buzzers. They came out and said, we didn't use... And there's a guy on Twitter that, I, I don't know if he's an Astro fan or not. Hey, bottom line, the Astros are better than the Yankees in 2019. Yeah, maybe they were, I'm not saying. But 2019 is not even a point. The buzzers are going to be forever in history, a big fat question mark. But, buddy, we know in 2017, they cheated. They cheated. Were they better than the Dodgers? Were they better than the Yankees if they didn't cheat? That's the question that's always going to be asked. Always. That's never, ever going to go and away. And because of 2017, that leaves 2019 up for debate. Is anything they did on the up and up? Anything. Now the question is, how much does this affect the bottom line of baseball? Like, could this tick people off where if they were on the fence to begin with, will they walk away from the sport? Now, they never have. They never really have. Uh, for any length of time like they got mad after the the lockouts and the strikes and the pds and stuff and they always find a way to get back but will we see a drop in attendance will we see a drop in ratings will this integrity hit really affect the bottom line of this sport i it's, you it's know something what? that's on the Th table this is this will surprise you i think it's going to help the sport because every single astro game on the road is going to be must watch tv it is going to be a story that is not going to die. It is going to make them uh, the villains, and it's always good when a sport has a villain. And they now are the villain of Major League Baseball. They're more of a villain than any other team in baseball. They're looked upon universally as the villain because they cheated. I think it helps the sport. I really do. I think it helps the sport.